I'm installing uh, an ICOM radio, it's a mobile radio, into a Holland tractor. So it's uh, so, sort of an agricultural equipment. And I'll show you a couple of tricks. Uh, this is not the way you're supposed to do it. It's uh, my way of doing it and the customer likes it. Uh, you can uh, use this as your kind of a tip and tricks. So the radio goes into a compartment here, one of the storage boxes. One is on the top here, one is on the bottom where I put the radio in. And I'm going, this is not a final or finished installation. I have to go to another appointment. And um, you will see the radio box here has two clips. So you have to kind of uh, pull the box out by uh, pulling those two side tabs. So you pull the box out and then you drill some holes for the radio because the bracket the radio bracket won't fit into the uh, into that storage box so you put the two side screws you need to align uh, that radio properly and I'm using a uh, this connector which is a uh, auxiliary uh, power connector right here and it can hold the radio current draw so what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, disconnecting the connector, the power connector from, uh, I'm in the harness from that uh, power outlet. And I use this splice technique. Uh, so I, I uh, remove some insulation off the uh, power wires. Uh, this is switched power, which is accessory controlled power. And the customer wants that way, is not, they don't want constant power because the driver keep forgetting to turn the radio off over the weekend. Uh, so I splice, I remove the insulation, splice the two power wires and um, connect my, uh, so you kind of make like a kind of a split like that. So you connect your radio power through that hole, the split in, in, a, in the middle, then twist it, use some um, flux pen prior to that so you can uh, get a go good soldering uh, here so I solder both then you see I started to use some uh, rubber tape um, some sort of a soft rubber tape you don't really have to then on top of the rubber tape on each uh, on each side on each uh, power wire you use some of the um, uh, just a normal electrical tape so that's the uh, the way you connect the power and of course you leave your power you can hide it somewhere in uh, behind this this uh, whole box because you won't have room for the whole cable so you need to kind of uh, shove it behind and um, so you leave the icom radio fuses in line uh, don't really have to rely on the uh, tractor fuses and i'll show you the antenna for the antenna I've used a custom bracket uh, we buy from a Huawei su supplier so this is uh, made for some sort of a Ford or Dodge truck I don't really know I had to use some spacers here and it's, it's very secure and I have uh, this coaxial cable kit a little bit of split, split room but you don't really have to and it's being attached nicely there it's secured and it goes through a grommet uh, it's a light power cable grommet it goes inside I put some silicone as a lubricant then when the silicone dries uh, it helps with uh, sealing the area but you don't really need to do that because the water won't get in and in order to take the uh, the cable you would have to take remove the speaker because I don't think you can uh, handle the wire through this big opening which is a uh, sort of a control panel here like console uh, you don't I don't think you can do that unless you are a very special person uh, so you take the speaker out so grill then the speaker reach that coaxial cable you reach it grab it here then there is a grommet so this is double wall for safety for the driver safety it's kind of a metal uh, wall behind so the speaker is held by uh, so they drill the hole into that metal wall which is up here and they use a kind of a harness grommet so you need to poke a hole on the side a very tiny hole then you fish fish your coaxial cable you can use a, an antenna rod or something to help you fish uh, the cable from this side of this metal wall to this side then you 
uh, once you have the cable inside then you can run it behind and get behind the radio or if you can if you're lucky and if you can squeeze it here like that and put some tie ups uh, like a, put some tie ups attach it to this harness then you put this uh, you, you, of course you use a PL259 connector, you crimp it right, then uh, you fit everything back in, so you, you have some screws here that will hold this control panel, and um, yeah, that's uh, an easy job if you watch it. <laughs> if you do it, maybe if you do a couple of those a day, you probably won't like it. Yeah, so this is the way this Holland uh, tractor looks like. They have some sort of uh, hydraulics, accessories and stuff. Uh, it's a big machine. And this is the second one. Uh, my co-worker is doing another one. It's smaller than this one. And I hope this tip will uh, help you with uh, your installation, make your life easier. Take care, bye-bye.